let, let me take it very thin. Okay, there, there's a compression. So compression, okay, I'll, I'll write pressure. Uh, let, let, let me write. There's a compression. In fact, not only compression, compression and refraction with it. Let me take only compression. And it's a wave speed, no, it will arrive here. And the what is the year? Year air, year also air. It's the open end, no? What will happen to the compression when it arrives at the open end? So what is the pressure here? Will be P naught, P naught, P naught. And what is the pressure here? Greater than P naught. Pressure in compression will be more than P naught. I think that that we know it. How much it should be? P naught plus maximum compression. No? P naught plus B A K it will be. So when this compression arrives here, so it's a open end. How, how do it happen? So let, let's take the the next concept. I I need this background idea. So as the compression arises, as it arrives there, what is the pressure at the open end? Well, at all the time, it should be P naught only. So there's a one strict condition I'll put in the pressure. Happen at open end must be equal to Atmospheric pressure at all times. Atmospheric pressure, peanut at all times. Because it's open it. Okay, this I'll put a dot. So now the compression has arrived. Now what will happen to this compression? So it will it will encounter an open end. So very next moment what happened? It will get reflected. It it will move, it will spread in all direction. Then what will happen? The pressure here in fact was. Am I right? Because this is this is air. This is air. Now the air air undergone compression here. The air which was present undergone compression. The pressure is how much is it? It is it is it is greater than P naught. Now very next moment what happened? It is carrying energy. Am I right? This carrying energy. So what will happen to this? It will spread in all direction. This this energy now very next moment it is going to spread in all direction. I'm I'm just taking help of the diagram so that will be easy for us to easy for you to understand so what this energy you know this energy which is there will, will spread in all direction <laughs> and suddenly what happened it will encounter large area you no know? so the pressure what happened though it was equal to pc you no know, immediately what happened it will become p naught because sudden it will expand that this energy will spread in all directions so then what will happen? The pressure immediately what will happen outside the pipe will become P naught here. So what is the pressure everywhere here? P naught, P naught, P naught. The reason for that, because the energy what will the wave what will happen will start expanding. So here this particular layer starts expanding in all direction. Suddenly it will expand. So therefore immediately it will attain the atmospheric pressure P naught. And so now what, what actually after this what will happen? So we know if the compression is there, let me start with this one. If there's a compression, so air pressure P naught, air P naught. So what is the force now? P C P naught into S air, which force P C is greater than. P naught. So net force on on layer will be in this direction, and this layer in this direction. So because of this, what will happen now? It will start expanding. <coughs> and now the pressure will become P naught, and see like a PCS greater than P naught is. So the layer what will happen now will expand. It will come to its like a equilibrium position. So because and the air will have inertia, will have a mass because of that. So this particular layer, what happened, will acquire kinetic energy. Here it will have maximum speed because it is at equilibrium position. Because of inertia, it is having because of inertia, inertia of motion. This layer, what happened, will not come to rest. 
See, in turn, what will happen? It is going to expand. So as it expands, so what is the problem? As it expands, particle velocity here. So the the pressure here will become say like a p dash. Outside pressure is p naught. P dash will be less than p naught. So in what action now the force the force will start acting towards left. It will undergo retardation, and finally, what will happen? A rarefaction will will occur. This is a rarefaction. I'll write rarefaction pressure R F, and this is P naught. So, what is P R F? P R F will be less than. This is a rarefaction. This is the compression. Maximum compression, or just you say compression. Okay, now now you know whenever a wave encounters a boundary, what will happen? A part of energy, what will happen? Will be refracted, and a part will be reflected. A part will be transmitted. A part will be refracted. So means now you have to ask question, sir. Uh, what will happen to wave? Here, here, don't say that a wave is really present here. The moment what happens, this compression, a part of energy comes here. it will spread out in all direction and the pressure become p not and no more further wave here getting the idea no more further wave but on the behind that one so towards left what happen we have now here a compression a rare fraction and the pressure here p not and the rare fraction i'll just show it like this i think i i'm trying my level best to explain this the so what we have is now <coughs> prf here pressure is p not so definitely the force on this will be in this direction because p not s prf so we we know prf is less than p not so definitely the force here will be in this direction so this will exert a force and the wave what will happen now we know a part of energy should be transmitted part will be reflected the reflected wave is now the wave fraction and it will start moving towards left Like that, what happens? We'll get a rare fraction after this compression, rare fraction. Like that, compression, rare fraction. The way what happens will be reflected. So this is what what you should call this a reflected rare fraction. Here, here the energy what happens will spread, and don't say a wave is propagating because the moment the compression arrives here, it will spread in all direction, and the pressure will be immediately become p naught. so don't say that the wave will move like this okay got the idea so like this what happen we can express the the equilibrium i need not to show so directly i'll show for the rare fraction so this is what and how the rare fraction so in fact the compression arrived towards right the rare fraction will open will be moving towards left okay now what's happening to you, you look at the layer which is present the layer which is present here the layer which is present here because next i am introducing next concept no i need <coughs> all this background the layer which is present here it is going to vibrate no so what will happen to its oscillation will extend beyond the length of the pipe the, because of force acting it will accelerate so then here is what it's extended no so what we think is this is the length of the pipe no the effective length will extend beyond the length of the pipe are you getting no this is a compression this is the equilibrium no so th this much of length got extended so what we think this layer will vibrate about this portion no this layer what happen will vibrate about this portion means what we think is in fact here this is the equilibrium portion no the equilibrium portion is somewhere here here it will be vibrating like this because this is some sort of like left extreme this is a mean this is a right extreme so therefore the vibrations are not confined to the end of the pipe they extend beyond the length of the pipe about this point is what it's vibrating so that is called like a end correction so for end correction for closed end organ pipe okay i think in uh, is it okay no reflected the rare fraction so there's a the simplest idea there just some theoretical explanation what i am able to give that one okay let me go for the end correction
Uh, why the 10 correction is what? I, I brought it from here only. Hmm? 